And so question 15, the last question in paper one of the 2017 new higher maths. There we go, four marks for a transformation of functions. Something's been shifted here. It gives you these two diagrams, like a before and after, if you like. And it says the second one here is just the first one, the f of x, that's been shifted along and shifted up. And all you have to do for two marks is write down the values of those. Well, you can see how much it's been shifted. It went from 2, 3, maybe I'll put this down, you don't have to show any working. That particular point has gone from 2, 3 to 7, 6. In other words, it's gone along 5 and up 3. Maybe I'll just write down what h of x is then. So h of x is f of x. Now, if it's gone along 5, you put x minus 5 there. You probably just remember it as do the opposite of whatever it does in the x direction. Whereas what it actually means is to find any value here, any y coordinate here in the second graph, you've got to go back 5 to find it. Anyway, and from 3 to 6, it's going up 3, and that is just a straightforward, all the y coordinates have climbed by 3. I didn't ask you to write any of that, I just said state. So I'll just put that down so I could carefully see whether A was a 5 or a negative 5. That means if that's got a plus in front of it, that A would have to be a negative 5, and B is just what it says, and B is equal to 3. And it's one mark each. Now, part B makes it look very complicated for just one mark. It says it's known that the integral of f of x from 1 to 3 is 4. Well, what that means in terms of area is this area in here. This area between f of x and the x-axis between 1 and 3 is 4 units. And all that this means is area between 6 and 8, but that doesn't include these parts, that's between these two lines. What's that equal to? Just for one mark. Well, if that's got an area of 4, then this bit that's been shifted up has an area of 4. So the whole area from 6 to 8 will be 4 plus this, and after all, that's just a rectangle. The whole thing was shifted up 3. So this height here is 3, and that distance there is 2. So this part has an area of 6. I'll just put down the two parts. So it's made up of 6 plus 4, which equals 10. It doesn't give any units here because it just said 4, so I'll just put 10. Now, that's worth only one mark. There's a wee ominous note in the marking scheme about parts B and the following part C, which are only just worth one mark. It says, candidates who have shown any working, because it is just the one mark and it doesn't give any indication of penalising no working, so it indicates just writing 10 we get an answer. But it says that, those that have got the correct answer, with some working, that working should be checked to ensure that there's no errors in it, leading to a correct answer, in which case you'd lose that. Poor, but miserable. And C, final mark, given that F dashed of 1 is 6, what's H dashed of 8? Well, F dashed 1 means the rate of change, or in terms of the graph, the gradient of the graph at 1. In other words, this gradient here is 6. So a gradient of 6. Now, since that's been shifted, that corresponds to this gradient here. That's also a gradient of 6. Now, since it's a parabola, because it does say it's a quadratic function, you know that it's symmetrical. So, about the axis of symmetry, this point here that's level with it, that must have a gradient of negative 6. And since that corresponds to this point here, or for the same reason here, because it's a parabola, that must also have a gradient of negative 6. Notice it's not perpendicular to it. It's not negative 1 upon 6. It's the same slope, only instead of going up, it's going down. So here we go, just stating that. That equals negative 6 for the last mark.